A sensational high-tempo operation carried out by India on the high seas, 2,600 kilometers or 1,615 miles from the Indian coast, has led to the arrest of 35 armed Somali pirates and the rescue of 17 crew members of former Maltese-flagged merchant vessel MV Ruen. The operation, which lasted 40 hours, saw the involvement of multiple elements of the Indian military, which includes INS Kolkata, INS Subhadra, Marcos C-17 airlifter, and Sea Guardian drones. Viewers may note that MV Ruen, a Bulgarian-owned but Maltese-flagged bulk cargo ship, was hijacked on the 14th of December last year by the pirates. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Indian military freed MV Ruen from the clutches of Somali pirates. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. MV Ruen was being used as a mothership by the pirates. It was being tracked by Indian forces for this reason, and once it came within the vicinity, INS Kolkata made its move. The destroyer maneuvered closer and intercepted it. The pirates opened fire at the naval asset, and in return, INS Kolkata fired several warning shots to show its intent. INS Kolkata is the lead ship of the Kolkata-class stealth-guided missile destroyers of the Indian Navy. The destroyer displaces about 7,500 tons when fully loaded, has speeds over 55 kilometers per hour or 35 miles per hour, and has a range of about 15,000 kilometers or 9,320 miles. It's packed with long-range aerial, surface, and underground sensors. The destroyer also has a multitude of long- and short-range weapons, which includes Barak-8 SAM, Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, four AK-630 six-barreled 30mm Gatling guns as CIWS, an OTO Malara 76mm as the main gun, two twin 533mm torpedo tubes, as well as RBU-6000 rocket launching system. Beyond the horizon, anti-submarine helicopters also provide ASW capability, two of which can be carried in dual enclosed hangars. INS Kolkata carries the Westland WS-61 Sea King, a British license-built version of the American Sikorsky S-61 and domestically built HAL Dhruv. The sources indicated that the shots fired, both from the helicopter and the ship, were intended as warning shots near the hijacked vessel rather than directly targeting the pirates. This measure aimed to avoid any potential harm to the crew on board. Furthermore, it was reported that the Indian Navy headquarters was informed of the pirates' firing, prompting authorization for the captain of INS Kolkata to employ necessary measures to prevent their escape. Simultaneously, a comprehensive plan of action was devised in conjunction with the security establishment and the Indian Air Force. A call was taken to airdrop Marcos Prahar into the zone of operation to force the arrest of the pirates. The Marine Commandos, abbreviated Marcos, and officially called the Marine Commando Force MCF, are the special forces of the Indian Navy. Marcos Prahar's is squad of eight commandos. Accordingly, a C-17 aircraft took off from a base in India with Marcos on board who were airdropped into the area along with two combat rubberized raiding craft, CRRC. INS Subhadra was also diverted to the area of operation. 
Viewers may note that the Indian Air Force has a fleet of Boeing C-17 Globemaster III strategic airlifter planes. INS Subhadra is a Sakanya-class patrol vessel. It's a large offshore patrol craft in active service with the Indian Navy. The Marines disembarked upon the open sea with their vessels and advanced toward the hijacked ship while warning shots were discharged to deter the pirates from engaging in any hostile activities. Marcos are very proficient in several domains, which include counterterrorism operations, special reconnaissance, unconventional warfare, amphibious assaults, rescue and evacuation, counter piracy operations, protection of offshore assets, underwater demolition and clearance, boarding and search operations, vital asset protection, hostage rescue operations, close quarter battle CQB, intelligence gathering and training and support. Reports suggest that two aerial platforms, a P-8I and a Sea Guardian, were pressed into action to coordinate this. The Boeing P-8 is a long-range, multi-mission, maritime patrol aircraft. It's capable of conducting anti-submarine warfare (ASW), anti-surface warfare, search and rescue, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. P-8 is equipped with AN-APY-10 radar, which is installed on the enlarged nose fairing. The AN-APY-10 radar provides the Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, mode capability for imaging, detection, classification, and identification of stationary ships and small vessels, and for coastal and overland surveillance, as well as the High Resolution Imaging Synthetic Aperture Radar, ISAR, mode for imaging, detection, classification and tracking of surface submarines and small, fast-moving vessels that operate in coastal waters. The Indian variant is named P-8I and has some specific customization. U.S. Origin General Atomic Sea Guardian is a long-range surveillance drone. It's essentially a maritime variant of the Predator MQ-9 unmanned aerial. Once the pirates understood that there was no escape, they dropped their arms and were taken into custody. From 2008 to 2012, Somali pirates commandeered numerous vessels, reaching up to a staggering 1,000 ships off the coast of Somalia. Although piracy in Somalia has decreased in recent years, it has not come to a complete halt. The latest rescue mission is the second anti-piracy mission by the Indian Navy this year. In January, the Marcos liberated Liberian-flagged MV Leela Norfolk, rescuing a 21-member crew. Also on March 6, the Indian Navy assisted Barbados-flagged merchant and Greek-operated vessel MV True Confidence, which came under attack of missiles by Houthis. In response to the rescue operation, Bulgarian President Rumen Radev expressed heartfelt gratitude to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the courageous actions of the Indian Navy. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, President Radev wrote, My sincere gratitude to PM Narendra Modi for the brave action of Indian Navy rescuing the hijacked Bulgarian ship Ruen and its crew, including seven Bulgarian citizens. It's evident that the Indian forces are capable of undertaking complex operations in the high sea, far away from its coastlines. This operation also shows that the Indian military is getting benefited from platforms acquired from the U.S. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.